Hello everyone, I just need to quickly uh, give you guys some information before I begin this video. Uh, the first thing is a shout out for the Western Invertebrate Show which will be going ahead on the 31st of July. Um, all information can be found in the description um, for that and also there will be a card up here for the uh, you know, one of the show videos I did of the Western Show. Really good show held in Bristol, um, hosted by Invert Shows UK so please if you're able to do so come along and have a great day. Uh, the second thing I'd like to plug is the British Trancher Society Lectures and Dinner. Uh, this will be held on the 4th of March 2023. And if you book between now and the end of June, uh, you get £5 off. So um, definitely worth going. I don't have any, I do have videos of the lectures, um, but it's really important that, um, you know, that you do come along if you're into sp spiders. It's truly something like it's an amazing day trust me really really good um i'll put a annotation up here to a video that will show you just how serious this um this event is um i will be going to both of course and hopefully i will see some of you there like i said all information to both events will be in the description hey everyone trancher down here i hope you're doing well today uh so this hopefully will be a really good enjoyable video for you i'm going to talk a little bit about the bts show um, and also show you some of my additions i've got some really 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 cool things that i'm sure you'll uh, enjoy seeing in this video and in future videos as well so uh just to begin uh, of course i want to thank all of the organizers over at the bts for putting on such an amazing show of course uh the last show was in 2019 uh obviously with the state of the world you know we obviously got delayed and cancelled and knocked back and this year 2022 was the first time uh that it was been held again at the same event um which is of course the uh, the Wiltshire exhibition center which is a really really good venue so uh they did an amazing job getting it together and i'm sure they've been really really stressed about it but they pulled it off as always and i think everyone had a really good day all of the traders that i spoke to um and obviously all you know, the attendees, everyone was just really loving it. So really uh, well done to everyone at the BTS. Um, so my I originally I was going to vlog the show um, and like do a thing of the weekend. But to be honest, I just couldn't be bothered, to be fair. I thought, you know what, I want to keep my camera uh, down. I want to go to the show and I want to enjoy the show myself. I, I could really do with that at the moment, you know, uh, with things going on. Um, as some people are aware of, of things i guess um so yeah I, I left i actually worked um on friday night i got home at about half four five o'clock in the morning uh slept for a couple of hours got up got my stuff ready went to uh from the isle of sheppey where i live to hern bay to pick up some uh, frogs and toads uh for guy tansley i spoke about him before i met him at a bar and i was like completely starstruck at meeting him um had a chat with him he knew who i was and then we became really really good friends so you know the fact that he asked me for a favor was kind of mind-blowing to be honest even now it's like you know he's such a great guy but uh, yeah did six hours or whatever it was up you know to go and pick up these frogs and then get up to uh the show um you know got to uh Lempton train station to uh meet my good friend luke uh, picked him up, we went, checked in out at a hotel, went to the Holiday Inn where everyone was, got a meet up with some amazing people, Sam from Bug Realms, one of my patrons, Amy from Pit Rock and Roll, um, another one of my patrons and actually one of my best friends, uh, her and her, and, and, you know, uh, her and uh, Chris and their daughter, I got to spend a lot of time with them, um, a whole bunch of people, I can't remember everyone's names to be honest, there's that many people there. Um, of course, everyone from uh, the spider shop as well, of course, met up with those there. Um, like I say, there's just loads, loads, loads of people. We sat out in, you know, in outside the hotel, um, just having a few drinks and things like that. And then we went for like a half an hour walk to, um, for, to go find some food. We ended up at an Indian restaurant and had uh, some food there, which was entertaining as always, because one of the guys that just tagged along with us, uh, was taking his food back to the hotel and they gave him the wrong food so this guy who doesn't like indian food ordered a chicken burger and he got back with like two fish curries or something and then this guy ordered all this food and ended up with a chicken burger and they were like can you call him and tell him to come back and we're like we don't even know who he is you know he just sort of tagged along with us so uh you know 
but it was, you know, there's always going to be a little bit of drama when you uh, go out somewhere. So, but really, really good night. Went back to the hotel. You know, people had yeah, a few drinks. Um, I had a drink bought by um, Michael uh, Balsina, who, of course, I went to Guatemala with. Plug in my Guatemala thing again, of course. Really, really good, uh, good series on, on my channel. And I uh, got a taxi back with him and uh, the lovely people from Portsmouth Tarantulas. So, uh, really, really good. And then me and Luke went back to the hotel, slept, got up the next day. Show day, get up, get ready, spider shop, uniform on, you know. Um, got the show set up and it was absolutely chaos. Uh, in the best possible way. I mean, the amount of people that came through those doors. Um, I obviously had some pictures with people, had some good talks with people, a few heart to hearts here and there. Got to see people that I haven't seen for sort of three, four, five, even six years. One person I hadn't seen for that long. So it's great to sort of see you know, friends I haven't seen for a long time. It was really, really worth going, you know. Uh, and of course, I got to uh, have some great, great pickups. And that's what I'm going to be doing now. So, uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that I spoke to. Um, everyone that came up it was really great to sort of see you again i'm glad you're doing well um sorry to those i couldn't speak to for that long or failed to meet up with um again you were there you saw how busy the spider shop table was and every other trader for that you know that matter um so hopefully in the next show which i think is bristol on the 31st of um july uh invert shows uk um Hopefully I'll be at that one and hopefully see some more of you there. So with that said, uh, let's start looking at some of the stuff that I got. And honestly, I've got some really, really cool stuff. So I'm going to begin with the with smaller things and then work my way up. Um, I don't know which is the best thing to end with, to be fair. It's, it's one of those videos where I know how I kind of want things to go. And there'll be some uh, parts in this video where I'm going to say to you, like, okay, what do you think about this, you know, and uh, you'll have to comment as we go kind of thing. Firstly, uh, I got a couple of stickers uh, from um, Incredible Inverts and Other Animals, uh, which is Phil. He has a YouTube channel, really, really good channel, really informative, really, really like his um, his content. And also, um, T and the Deep Blue Sea, which I believe is, um, I think it's his partner. Um, or his friend and she drinks tea and talks about things so I'm going to be checking her out this thing I, I haven't seen her I was given a sticker now I'm going to go and check her out and uh, you should too I will also say if you're watching this video and you went to the show if you um, you know did any videos I know uh, Arachno Beth she was with the spider shop while we were there uh, a whole bunch of YouTubers were there, you know, Francis and Ebony. Um, I didn't mention them previously because I'm going to mention them in a little bit, but I know, you know they'll probably have some videos. Of course, Amy from Pet Rock and Roll, she might have some videos, I don't know. Um, loads of random people there with cameras, you know. So if you are someone that went to the show and you have a video, plug it below, post it in the comments, okay? Uh, so long as it is BTS related, not pickups as such, more so to do with the actual show, if you have that, post it below and uh, I'll allow it to stay there. Any other sort of spam posting will just get deleted. So but yeah, a couple of stickers there. Thank you so much for those. Um, I'm gonna, I've got a whole box uh, full of stickers and when I'm more settled, I will have an area where I'm gonna display them more. So that's that. Um, go back to uh, Ebony and Francis. I actually have this from them. Um, I actually had to see them and uh, I ended up getting slapped by Ebony, which I, <laughs> I really deserved it, to be fair. It was nice to sort of see them both, and I had a, a nice heartfelt hug with them. And, uh, yeah, and then all of a sudden it was just a whoosh. <laughs> like I say, I, I, I deserved it, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so there's a card here for the Invert Kingdom. Many of you, if you've been on my channel, will know um, who he is. And there's also a QR code. Um, so he's on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. At Instagram um, or email the invert kingdom at gmail.com. I don't know whether the QR code will be able whether you'll be able to scan that. You probably won't, but yeah. Um, also, a sticker for uh, Black Wolf Ebbs, which of course is her YouTube channel. Um, I was dropped a bunch of stickers. There we go. Um, a sticker for the uh, invert kingdom UK. My camera's not picking this up that well, so I really am sorry. Invert kingdom UK. A sticker for Black Wolf Ebbs. There we 
go. Um, there's another one, but this one's a holographic shiny one, which is really nice. And then two more uh, Invert Kingdom uh, stickers as well. Just going to keep all the stickers in there for now so I don't lose them. Um, I also had this from um, a really good friend of mine, um, Emma. And the story of this is years ago uh, when I had my T Celadonia, when I was like the first person like in the UK to get T Celadonia. Um, she actually travelled all the way to my house to come and have a look at this spider. And she took some photos and so she's actually printed off a picture of uh, my my female T Celadonia. And on the back it just says Dan, lots of love Emma, which is lovely. So uh, I obviously have to get that sort of put in a frame and that. But it's really nice that you know, she came and she's like, I've got a surprise for you. And um, we discussed some really cool stuff as well, which I can't discuss. But yeah, um, Emma, if you do ever, if you do happen to watch this, thank you for that. It really means a lot that you took the time to do that. Um, really, really thoughtful of you. Okay then, so now we're on to the actual, um, the main kind of pickups, I guess. So uh, the first uh, few things I'm going to show you, just a bunch of substrates and things. So I've got some um, decaying leaf litter. I've got a bag of live moss. Uh, some food. And from the spider shop, I got one of these um, habitat boxes. This is jungle. And this is going to be for a project of mine, um, which I will talk about in just a short while, I guess. Um, I'm not going to tell you what's going to go into this enclosure, uh, which is the next thing. I will say I got this from uh, Invert Mansions. I've got a card. Where's the business card gone? After that. Yeah, so uh, invertmansions.co.uk. It's not going to think it's after a picture for that on screen, but yeah, Invert Mansions. I got an enclosure from them um, in Brighton in October, and I, I I still have it and I've used it, but I didn't use the footage of it, which is a shame because that was why they gave it me. Um, but stuff going on, I'm sure they understand. Uh, but I went there and I saw this. I thought it was really cool. I had a chat with them, and so I, I you know, I, I got it from them. And uh, it is this. This is a handmade enclosure. You can see it's a nice piece of wood, and um, obviously you know substrate and, and things in there. Now I'm not going to be keeping the stuff that's in here. It's going to come out. And um, the reason for that is because I've got a, an idea for it. Um, so if you have any guesses throughout the video of what I'm going to be putting in here, please feel free to pause the video and. Let me know. But yeah, really nice fitting lid. Um, ventilation on the top. And yeah, really, really nice. I think this is going to be one of the things at the moment is I feel like I could do with just having a bit of a, you know, something a bit to just to watch and just chill out a little bit. And I thought this is going to be perfect. Um, I'm probably going to keep it on my windowsill. And um, yeah, it's going to do really, really well. So throughout the video, if you see anything that you think, oh, Dan's going to put that in there. Then let me know, okay? So yeah, Invert Mansions, really, really nice enclosure. I'm going to do a, a whole video just setting this up. I'm probably going to, I've actually got a few days off work this week, so I'm going to be getting this done then. So uh, patrons uh, will be the first, uh, patrons and channel members will be the first to sort of see this when it's all done. So yeah, really, really excited. Okay then, so I'm going to try and keep this video fairly short. I've realised I've been talking for so long and I've got to just trim so much out of it. Um, interesting how long this video will be, but I'm going to do my best, okay? I haven't done a proper video for a long time and so this is a nice video to talk about things, show you things and try and be a bit more like me, I guess, rather than what's been going on recently, you know? So, you know me, just, let's just chat shit for ages. Um, so yeah, um, I've got two mature males. Um, one of the mature males um, is because of this female. I'm going to put some uh, footage on screen now of something that happened recently. And that's all you're going to see of that. Full video of that will be going up on uh, Patreon and channel members. But 
I did get this. Now I can't remember who it was that I got this from. It is a mature male Poglotheria regalis. Um, I actually posted on Facebook that I was after one of these and my friend contacted me and said that she knew of someone else that had one. So I can't remember your name, I'm really sorry, but she just came up to me and was like, you know, do you want this? So I was like, yeah, it's cool. So, uh, you know, if I find out who you are, I will tag you in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, um, sure male looks like a decent sized one. So hopefully the pairing will go well. My female isn't out at the moment, but is usually out and, you know, I'd really like to try and get an exact from her. So huge thank you to uh, to the lady that I got this from. Of course, I will be doing my best with him. I also have this mature male. This is a uh, Gramosola Porcupies um, Chaco Golden Knee. And this is from my good friend Invert Kingdom UK. Again, gonna mention him again. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually drinking from uh, his mug at the moment. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of mugs from different YouTubers, but uh, yeah, uh, I got this from from Francis, my last mature male that I tried to pair with my female. Um, like the pairing went so badly. Um, like she was really interested, and this spy was being an absolute wuss. I actually ended up like pinch uh, grabbing the, the, the female and holding her, thinking the male would then, you know, and he didn't, and he just did like a a lap of the enclosure and just ran straight into her and she she got him so i didn't i never uploaded that to youtube because i don't like showing that kind of thing so but this is looking like a, a a bigger male and um you know my female is ready for breeding so i'm gonna feed her up for a few days um you know make sure that you know everything is sort of you know um yeah the conditioning is all as it should be and when i'm ready and he's ready and she's ready We'll get a, a, a good pairing. So yeah, a mature male, grandma style of porker peas, great species, especially for beginners. A lot of new people coming into the hobby now and it's great to try and get some, you know, nice uh, spiders out there to some of my uh, subscribers and things. So yeah, so Francis and Ebony, a huge thank you for this guy. Now I actually got four slings at the show. However, one of them has died. Um, I think what it was when I was driving back, um, the one box flipped in the car and I, I, I righted it and thought everything will be fine but I think that that was enough sadly for the spider you know unfortunately so um, we'll I'll get to that one last but the first one is uh, this one now I will try and get some footage of this to put over the screen however it is very very small um, this is a Capinorchinius violosus um, which is a violet tree spider of course um, like I say if I get some footage of it on the screen I will put it up very very small spider um this was from uh, the spider shop of course next one is uh the carabiner verticular um again footage on screen um i might use my phone maybe um but yeah i always have this thing with versi where like i sometimes I'm, I'm fine with them and other times they just don't do that well but this room is quite warm anyway so hopefully um i'll have some success with this i've got some nice pots for the you know for these to go into um, the next one is this one, which is Poglotheria ornata, one of my favourite species of Poglotheria. I did have a really nice big one, probably about this big, uh, so big in the vial. And not long ago, I actually did a video or a post um, on Instagram, maybe on YouTube, where the ornata had gone to molt, I believe, and it had been eaten. My tarantula had been eaten by freaking mealworm. Um, so not very happy, <laughs> you know, and so I got a replacement one. Um, I, I love the Onatas, so again, nice warm room, plenty of food, and hopefully, I can grow this up. Um, I just love the Onatas, absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, and the one that didn't make it, which um, I'm looking at it now, and it's still, yeah, it's it didn't make it, was um, a Hetascoda uh, Maculata, the Togo Starburst. So it's a shame that the, the, the Togo died. I won't put footage of it because it's just a dead spider. Um, it is the only thing that died. Um, no fault for the spider shop. It was alive when I got it. Like I said, the box fl uh, flipped in the car and I think it must have just had some sort of land on it. And I guess it's, it just, yeah, the stress. And also a long journey back from uh, Warwick back down to the Isle of Sheppey. There was an accident on the motorway. Um, sort of, I think it had about an hour and a half, two hours onto my journey to get home. So I didn't get home until like nine, 10 o'clock. 
So, um, yeah, that was a shame. But I have more things. So, um, next up is one thing that I, I used to have one of these and it died and I've been completely unable to get hold of it. And it is this wonderful thing. This is an African predatory beetle, also known as the striped predatory beetle. A lot of people get hold of the Egyptian um, beetles, which are, they're still pretty cool, but they're a lot smaller. This guy is big, um, you know, you can sort of see him quite there quite clearly. This is a pretty big beetle, huge, huge mandibles. And I, um, in my Total Rewind video, there's a video of this, not this guy, but mine, literally decapitating um, its prey, you know, just, just like purposes of just snip its head off. Um, this is 15 pounds. Uh, the spy shop gave me a bunch of uh, stuff at the end of, of the um, at the end of the show. So huge thank you to Lee um, and everyone at the spy shop for, for these. Um, but yeah, so I got this from them, and um, I say they were they were charging 15 pounds for it. I didn't pay that, of course. But um, yeah, I finally got another one, and uh, I honestly cannot wait to uh, get some feeding footage of this guy. This was the biggest one that they had, so you know, my, I, I grabbed it straight away when I was sort of doing my, um, you know, setting up, and I'm looking like, oh, that's a, you know, but I saw them, I, the the three available, and I picked the biggest one, so that was really cool. Uh, next up, um, Heteropoda venatoria. Um, so this is the giant crab spider. You probably can't see it that well. You might be able to see it here actually. I will get some better footage of this. And it actually molted overnight. You can see the molt just here hanging again. There will be some better footage on screen of the molt um, and also the spider. But yeah, that molted overnight. Um, successful, got all of his legs and everything's there. Uh, this was from Spa Spiders. I did have a business card for them, however, I've misplaced it somewhere, but it actually has a label on the top. So a huge thank you to uh, to them for this guy. I've been after one of these for absolutely ages. Actually quite, um, not disappointed so to speak, but there wasn't that many true spiders there, which, you know, I, I do like my true spiders. Um, but, you know, at uh, the end of the day I was just going around and chatting to people and they had this one left. So, yeah, really, really nice spider. Um, really do like my trues. Uh, next up, something completely different from um, from these comes in this little teeny tiny pot. And these are isopods. Now I will say I don't actually know what um, what species they are. I'm gonna I'll have to sort of message them and sort of find out, you know. But um, you'll see from the footage on the screen, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, it does say something actually on here, a I can't read what it says, um, but there's 10 of them in there anyway, I think. And um, yeah, really, really cool looking tropical ice pods. They do get pretty big as well. So uh, that'd be a nice little project to, um, you know, to watch them. I've kept ice pods in the past and um, I just think they're really, really cool things. So, okay then, last two things. Um, so obviously I didn't go massively crazy, you know, but I did. I saw this one. I was like, I really, really want to get this. Um, so this one is a Scolopendra spe species dragon head. This is the dragon head centipede. Really, really cool because it's sort of like the uh, Scolopendra heros, but in reverse. So it's. The, the back end of it is sort of like the, you know, the kind of like orangey brown and then it goes up and goes into like the kind of like bluey green and then darker head, whereas the Heros is switched, you know. I do like centipedes. I actually did a video um, only not long ago actually, like a week or so ago, of my Scolopendra, um, I th it's not the Dahani, it's the, um, what is it, oh god, the name's uh, things of uh, but the polymorpha um, that molted recently you know people seem to really like that video so absolutely fantastic so uh, yeah got myself one of these and I have another centipede which I'm going to show you right now so I just had to take a little bit of a break there because my camera was about to overheat and I didn't want it to overheat whilst I was in the middle of talking about the last thing uh, so this is 
uh, was the largest Scolopendra species Dihani that they had there. Uh, you can actually just see it here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the you know get a better look at it, and uh, you'll be able to see when I say it's a big centipede. This was a large one that they had there. The only species that they had that were larger than this were the um, Scolopendra giganti, the um, Amazonian, giant Amazonian centipedes, um, which were like 300 pounds. Um, and this was not that much smaller than what they are. Obviously they will still grow, of course, but yeah, this is a monster centipede. And um, yeah, I just couldn't really pass up. Um, you can see it's from here, it goes all the way along down here and the heads over here so it's big <laughs> really really big um and uh, yeah i've already got the enclosures basically ready for all of these now to go into um apart from the one that i'm going to be sort of setting up in one of the future videos if you have any ideas as to what you think i'm going to do with this please let me know in the comments below um like i say this is just a look at my additions i will be giving you all an update on the you know that probably like not the rehousing video because I'm going to do that off camera and just get on with it but um, if um, you know if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to do with these maybe feeding videos taking a look at them maybe videos to talk about how I'm going to be caring for them um, an in-depth talk about the different species that I have um, and covering care guides for them anything that you'd like to you know to see or know would be for me to do let me know in the comments below remember to post your links and uh, like I say, a huge thank you to the organisers and for everyone that came and spoke to me at the show. Um, just leave me as much feedback as you can down in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a like. That would really help me out. And uh, subscribe if you aren't already. And with that said, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. And of course, I will see you all very, very soon uh, when I've got more videos of these guys done. So thank you everyone. Take care and I'll see you soon.